Okay. Okay. Just mine. No stress mine. <laughs> no stress mine. Got call. And uh, we'll ride back, and uh, we'll talk a little bit as we go. But um, I'm done with my banking transaction. So. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. Like I say, I started an account here uh, maybe two weeks ago. And, uh, like I say, I don't want to get mixed up in that traffic, so I'm going to stay on the sidewalk. But, um, uh, they ended up, I put, uh, 1,500, uh, on bees. That's, uh, like a yen. And, uh, in the account, that's a little over $200. And, uh, so now, when I went, I did a transaction where I had to sh ship some money, uh, or put some money in their account from my account, and that's what I went to the bank for. And but anyway, I checked uh, my balance beforehand, and I lost five uh, RMB already. So I think that is I don't know for sure. We'll have to check it again uh, in a month or so. Uh, but I. Th I think what they did is they, it's a service charge, is what they got. So, now with electronic money, you got to remember, it's not your money. Uh, there's a certain amount of digits, and what they're doing is moving these digits around, and that's a service they are providing. Uh, digits are not money. And that, that's now. This is the same reason why the Bitcoin. I'm not big on the Bitcoin uh, because of the same thing. I don't have control of this stuff. If I don't have control of it, that means somebody else has control. If somebody else has control, uh, they can do exactly what happened this time. They charge. Well, you're saying well, five. That's not much. Say five. That's not much, but. It, the thing is, if it was cash, I wouldn't have been charged anything. So, uh, that's what makes it difficult for me to go along with digital. I mean, they got a record of everything that I spend money on. They've got total control of it, control of my money. Uh, I can, if I travel, they got control of my money, so they can stop me from traveling. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of no good about electronic money. And then, um, this, I think, is going to, well, it, they're trying to make it the future. And I think China is leading the way on it. Uh, China's got good control, and now they need to control the, the money to have total control. So it's going to be a little different. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this stuff. Um, oh, here's a nice park. And, uh, but anyway, I thought it was odd that they, they charged me. Uh, I don't appreciate, I, I don't mind spending money, but I like to give it to somebody, and then they say thank you. They appreciate the business. This is not. They just take the money. <laughs> you know? And, you know, they could find me, you know. They could, uh, anybody can get a hold of my money. <laughs> like I say, I had to give the okay to give the money t to this transaction that I just did. But 
if that transaction was through the government, if it was through taxes or something, they would just deduct it, and that's it. So, uh, there's a little more to this than what you would think. And uh, I'm still going to go along with it because that's how I learn. Uh, I mean, go along with it in a way I want to start accounts and learn how this stuff works. Now, see, even in Guatemala, uh, the money that I had in the bank over there, uh, they wouldn't allow me to uh, uh, withdraw the total amount. Uh, I wanted to... I wanted to close the account. I wanted to close the account and take all my money. And some way or another, uh, I'm not. I can't. So I know what's happening is they're going to slowly take like this five. They're going to take five out and five out now monthly. You know, in the, in a year. You know, it's sixty in a year. And then eventually they'll have all my money. Here we're coming to an unmarked intersection. And, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to, and you see, see there's not that many people. Uh, this is what, uh, this is one of the things that is just, uh, it's just, really boggles my mind that uh, there's not so many people. But remember, I'm, I'm not in the center of town and I'm not in a big city. And, and even more, I figured out this city it has a river that divides it. Uh, so half of the city is on one side and the other half of the city is on the other. And I've been over on the other side, but I really haven't been exploring and, and getting around and doing things on the other side. Uh, I probably will as the weather gets cleared up. Like I say, I'm still working on, uh, on getting a, uh, working on my relationship with my new wife. So... Uh, I want to show you. This is how you get across. This is what the good thing about motorcycles is uh, we are exempt from a lot of the traffic. Um, so I missed my chance. I wanted to get over there in the middle. I missed my chance. And right there's a good chance. Let me go over there. People on this side. Gotta watch out for the traffic. And back over on this side. So, that's how you get around. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got it. I'm still working on my, uh, um, my. It's not even a bug out bag, but it's a, a safety bag for the house. So I'm going to have to do some shopping. So I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> uh, we'll call it the air. Let me do some shopping. This is Mike, mostrustmike.com.